So today we're going to be looking at the brand new Infiltrator Elite class coming with Battlefield 1's Turning Tides DLC. Before we start though, a massive thank you to Danny on PC for letting me use his gameplay in this video. His channel is linked below, go and show him some love. The Infiltrator is designed around a couple of core features, the signalling flare and the spawn beacon. Now both of these are gadgets for the Infiltrator, and I'm fairly certain you know what the spawn beacon does, but what about the signalling flare? Well that calls in artillery strikes on the location where the flare lands. A circle will appear on the minimap showing you the radius of the artillery strike and any enemies in that location, they stand a chance of at least being hit for some serious damage or even being killed. The spawn beacon can be placed down anywhere on the map. Anyone familiar with past Battlefield titles will know how to do this already, but at the moment I'm not sure if you can place down more than one, or I'm not sure if you have to go back and retrieve the beacon if you'd like to go and place it somewhere else. I guess we're going to need to wait for some more information around the launch of this DLC, or if I can get into another CTE test before I go away to New York next week, I'll update you guys with some more information on that. Now, as for the weaponry, of course the Infiltrator class needs to protect himself, things are getting pretty interesting here. The primary weapon is something I don't think anyone expected, the Martini Henry Grenade Launcher. This thing fires out grenades that explode on impact, and by the looks of Danny's footage, they seem to do quite a considerable amount of damage. Just double kills everywhere. Now for those who are a little bit suspect as to whether the Martini Henry grenade launcher ever actually existed, I do have some evidence for you. This is it here in real life, and it was created by a Swiss immigrant around 1916. This launcher might have actually been used to launch grenades into a nearby enemy trench, but there is actually no evidence the weapon was ever trialled or used during the war. For the purposes of a video game, however, like Battlefield 1, this seems like an awesome weapon to have added in. A secondary weapon has also been given to the Infiltrator. I don't think you can really expect them to run around with a grenade launcher all game and just use that. They also get the double barrel shotgun, the same as the Tank Hunter. Elite classes that have roles that are, I'd say more passive, more so than direct combat, they tend to get a secondary. A little bit like the Trench Raider getting the number 3 revolver as its secondary and the Trench Club as a primary. Elites like the Flame Trooper and the Sentry, they have pretty powerful weapons already, so they don't get a secondary weapon. Looking at the HUD in Danny's footage, it does seem that the Infiltrator Elite class comes with grenades as well. You can see here the icon for two smoke grenades. That ties in with the passive abilities that the Infiltrator has. This new Elite class also gets a permanent sprint boost ability that makes him faster than all other soldiers on the battlefield, so get ready for them to start popping round corners and blowing your head off with that martini grenade launcher. Although I'm excited to see such a different approach with this Elite class, I'm actually most intrigued by the Spawn Beacon because that's been absent from Battlefield 1 up till this point and that's likely to tie in with the historical theme. Bringing it back, I'm wondering if it will make that much of a change. With it only being available on the four Turning Tides maps, because of course the Elite is exclusive to that DLC, perhaps map design has been taken into account with this new spawn beacon. Maybe this Elite will be a key player in certain matches. Only time will tell. But that's all we know right now about the new Infiltrator Elite class coming to Battlefield 1. He does look pretty baller in his camo clothing carrying that massive great grenade launcher, and I'm hoping I can catch a quick CTE update this weekend so I can get to grips with it myself. Thanks once again to Danny on PC for lending me his footage today. Make sure you check out his channel, it's linked down below in the description. And if you've got any comments today, leave them down below in the comments section and I'll try and read as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.